Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Church. Yes. Uh, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14. That's where you got. All right, read what you got. Now, this is the New Testament, right? Okay, good. Yes? All right, read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Uh -huh. Let your women uh -huh. keep silence in the churches. Now, you never read in the Bible where the Most High allowed the woman to be over a church. Right. You know why? Why not? Because the man was the head anyway. The man is the head, right? You're absolutely right. Now, remember. He said that the man was supposed to lead them in and out, right? right. Now, I'm going to show you something. Read on. What you got? Go ahead. For it is not permitted uh -huh. unto them to speak, uh -huh. Go ahead. but they are commanded to be under obedience, uh -huh. Go ahead. as also said the law. Because think about it. Yeah. In your congregation, are there only women there? Who else is there? Oh, it's men there, right? right. So right right if right a woman up. is over the church, then who is she over? Well, she actually... I mean, man is over her still, remains. I, I want you to think about it. If a woman is over the church, you got yeah. children there, yeah. you got women there, right? Yeah. Who else is there? The man is there. The man is there. So the woman will be what? She will be under a man. She will be over the man. You understand yeah, that? If a woman led the church. But look, I want you to see something. I would not bash you because no. the women did lead other women in the Bible. That's the right. example of the other woman. Right. Right. So they do have yeah. a, a yeah. job to play in the church, yeah. right? Right. right? To be an example to younger women. But uh, the Bible says that the women are not supposed to be over the man. You understand uh, that? Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you. Go to 1 Timothy 2. 1 oh, Timothy <laughs> chapter 2, verse 11. Uh -huh. Look it out. Let the woman learn in silence. So we're reading the same yeah. thing again, right? right? Now, before in 1 Corinthians 14, it says she's supposed to keep silence. Where, though? Well, in the church. In the church, right? Read on. With all subjection. Uh-huh, go ahead. But I suffer not a woman uh -huh. to teach. Right, there we go. Nor to usurp authority uh -huh. over the man. To what? Right, no. Not to usurp authority over the man. God says that a woman is not supposed to be over the man. That's you understand right. that, That's the order of God. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. I'm going to show you. Know. Because the Bible is plain. The Most High God, once you read on in 1 Corinthians 14, it says the woman is supposed to be in silence in the church, right? right? Then when you read on, God says that he's not the author of confusion. Okay. A woman being over the man, a woman being over the church, is confusion with God. You know what I'm Now I'm going to show you that. This is why. Read it. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man uh -huh. is Christ. It says the head of every man is Christ, right? You understand that, sis? Read on. And the head of the woman is the man. Who? The head of the woman is the man. You heard that part? Right the head head of the woman is the man, right? Go ahead. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ, even Christ got a head, right? So the head of the woman is who though? The head of the woman is man. The head of the woman is the man. So that's if right. you, else, you step outside that order, then that's what? That's disobedience to God. You understand that? Uh, because yeah. that's how he set it up from the beginning. Now, my question to you, you believe in Christ? You follow Christ? Now read verse one. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Uh -huh. you know? Be ye followers of me, uh -huh. even as I also am of Christ. So Paul said he, that he's a follower of Christ. Before he got down to the order of the man, woman, uh, Christ himself, he said that he's a follower of Christ. So right. if you follow that order, 
by allowing a man to be over you, then that means that you follow Christ. You understand yeah, what I'm right. saying? Right. Now, if you go outside of that order and you try to be over the man, like the scriptures say not to do, then that means that you don't believe in who? You don't believe in Christ. You see how simple that is, sis? You don't believe in Christ. Now, hold on. Before you go, before you go, because you said that you got children in the car, right? You say you're going to take them away. Where are you taking them? Well, we're going to eat some ice cream. We eat some ice cream. Well, who said again? We got a birthday party. A birthday party. Now, sis, I'm going to show you something. It's birthday party. Do we read about birthdays in the Bible? Do we read about that? Now, I'm going to show you. We do read about birthdays in the Bible, but guess what? It was always a custom of the other nations. That's right. Now, look on that sign. You said that you were of the tribe of Benjamin, right? You agree that you're an Israelite? Do you agree with that? Yes, you do, right? So that means that as a nation of Israel, go to Hosea 9 and 1 first. Then go to Psalms 103. I'm going to show you something. This is what's commanded of the children of Israel. You understand that, sis? You got a job to play. Read that. Hosea 9 verse 1. Hosea chapter 9 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Rejoice not, O Israel. So God says rejoice not, O Israel, right? Go ahead. For joy uh -huh. as other people. As what? As other people. So the Bible says that the Israelites are not supposed to have joy or take pleasure in the things that the other people do. You understand that, sis? Why? Because God says that we are holy and we are separate people. Right. You understand that? So the things that we do, other nations are supposed to do. The right. things that the other nations do, we are not supposed That's to take part right. in that. You right. understand? Why? Because I'm going to show you. God says that we are above other nations. Right. You understand that? So I'm going to show you that, sis. So read that one more time. Then go to uh, Psalms. Hosea chapter 9 verse 1. Uh -huh, for ahead. joy is not, O Israel, uh -huh. for joy as other people. As other people. Go ahead. For thou hast gone a whoring uh -huh. from thy God. When we do that, we go a whoring from our God. That right. means that what? We serve other gods. Bring you know what I'm saying? And what's the first commandment we read in the Ten Commandments? What's the first one? Say so you're a pastor, right? I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You understand that, sis? So when we serve the things that the other nations do, then that means that what? We put another God before our God. You understand? Oh. That's the God of Israel. You believe that? Okay. Read that. Psalms 100 and verse 3. All right. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 100, verse 3. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Because think about it. When we celebrate our birthdays, right? Who gets the gifts on the birthday? About who does though? You said God's supposed to get the children, right? So who who are we celebrating on that day? I don't personally buy But who are we celebrating on that day? Because think about it. That child for that day, right? So now who are we putting before God? Because who gave us life? We gave who gave us life though? God gave us life, right? So why are we celebrating the child or an individual on that day of birth? Bring it Who's out. Who's to give thanks to? Uh, to God, right? All right, so let's see what it says. Read that. Psalms chapter 100, verse 3. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Right. It is he that hath made us. God, he is the one that made us, right? Go ahead. Right. And not we ourselves. And not we ourselves. We didn't put ourselves here on this earth. Right. We didn't create ourselves. We didn't right. put ourselves in our mother's right. womb. You understand? Right. right, right. Who did that, though? Right. God did that. You understand that, sis? We don't. We are his people uh -huh. and the sheep of his pasture. Right, go ahead. Is that it? So, why are we giving ourselves things on that day? Now, go to Job. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you an example. Because, like I said, we read examples where the other nations took part in birthdays, right? Because that was their custom. But I'm going to show you what happened when we did it. All right? Let's see what God thought about that. Give me, you know what I want? Yes, give me that first. Read that. Job chapter 1, verse 4. Bring it out. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Now, on our birthdays, what do we do? Because it says his sons went and feasted in their houses. What do we do on our birthdays? Give me some examples. Because you just said y'all finna go get what? Yeah, ice cream. Finna go get some ice cream, right? Okay. So what else do you do on, uh, on birthdays? They have parties. Parties, okay. So now, okay, a party would be somewhat of a uh, feast, right? Because when you party, it's food involved. You celebrate, right? Y'all have some music. It's that nature, right? Like you said, ice cream and cake. So it says, yeah, gifts as well. It says his sons, they feasted, right? We don't. In their houses, right? Everyone his day. Everyone what? Every, everyone his day. What you think that was talking about? Everyone his day. It's their day. They're not claiming God. What, what day is it, though? It's their birthday. Their birthday, right? Everyone his day. They saying, this is the day I was born, right? This is my day. Because that's the mindset that we have when we celebrate those days. Right. Right. Hey, I don't care about nobody else. This is my day. You understand that? Right. I get all the gifts. I get all the attention, right? right. right. But God says, 
that this was a feast day that they celebrated, right? Now I'm gonna show you what happened. Read on. And sent and called for their three sisters to uh -huh. eat. And right. So they gathered the family around. Come join the other uh, time with us, right? Go ahead. Read on. And to drink with them. Uh huh. And drink as well. Go ahead. Read on. Verse 5, uh -huh. and it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, uh -huh. that Job sent and sanctified them, right, and ahead. rose up early in the morning. Now, Job got word of this thing, right, that his sons and his daughters were celebrating their his sons' uh, day, right, his birth, their birthdays. So now, let's see what Job did. Was Job a righteous man? Job wasn't a righteous man. Go to verse 1. Job chapter 1 verse 1 uh -huh. There was a man in the land of Uz uh -huh. Whose name was Job right, go ahead. And that man was perfect was what? Right. Was perfect Job was a perfect man right. 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 And upright uh -huh. And he was upright Go ahead. And one that feared God and eschewed evil He hated evil You understand? Anything that was evil He did away with it You understand that? Right. So now guess what Job did when he seen his sons in sin What you think he did? He wasn't happy. Okay, let's see what he did. Jump back to verse 5. Job, chapter 1, uh, verse 5. Uh, uh, and rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and offered burnt offerings. He did what? Offered burnt offerings. Now, what was the reasoning for burnt offerings? Why we offer? Why do we give uh, burnt offerings? What's the point? Hey, give me that scripture of why we sacrifice. You know what I'm talking about? Is that Galatians? Uh, the reasoning for sacrifice. Why we had it. Say it again. 317. So, I'm going to show you something. Why do we give offerings? What was the purpose of it? A sacrifice? Uh, God. Yeah, that's oh. God. Okay. That's it was a point of it. Is that what I want? Uh, it was for sins. All right, I'm going to help you out. Hold on for one 319. second. 3.19. Galatians, right? That's where we at? Yeah. Galatians 3.19. Now, I'm going to show you why. Because it says, after he got word that his son sinned, right? He says he gave up offerings. How you doing, my brother? Come up, come talk to us as well, all right? So read on. Galatians chapter 3, verse 19. Uh -huh. Wherefore, then seventh the law. Uh -huh. It was added because of transgression. The reason why we had the law of sacrifice is because of transgressions. What's transgressions? What's another word for it? Sin. Sin. There we go. So sin. So now let's go back. Let's see why Job offered offerings for his sons. Because they did what? They sinned. You understand that, sis? Read on. Job chapter 1 verse 5 uh -huh. and rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and offered burnt offerings. Why? Because of what? Why do we have burnt offerings? Why do we have the law of sacrifice? Sin, right? Go ahead. According to the number of them all. Uh -huh. Because according to how many sons he had, that's how many offerings he gave. You understand? No. That shows you that what? Each one of them sinned when they celebrated their day. You right, understand that, right, sis? Right. Go ahead. Read on. For Job said, uh -huh. it may be that my sons have sinned. They have what? Have sinned. One more time. Have sinned. He says his sons sinned. You understand that sense? Read on. And curse God in their heart. And they did what? Curse God in their heart. By them celebrating their day that God created them on, he says that they, he cursed God to their face. You understand right. that? Bring it out. That's what you do when you celebrate birthdays. Right. That's what you do when you allow your children to celebrate those days as well. You understand? You cursing God to his face. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.